Okay. Hey guys, it's me Jade, and today I am doing um a Crayola challenge. I got this idea from Hit Art. She's another YouTube artist, and she's really amazing. I just love her art. You need to go check her out. It's capital H, period, capital I, capital I, period, capital T, cap period, then just capital, all caps, art. And yeah, you should really go check her out. She's amazing. She does not have as many subscribers as she deserves. I, I know that. And her thing that she did was that she was comparing her inks to her to Crayola markers. Crayola markers, the way I used them and the way she used them is that we color on like a plastic plate or styrofoam plate, either one works, she used plastic, I used styrofoam, and you use like a water brush or I use a water brush and I think that would actually be easier, honestly, because it already has the water in it and, and instead of like getting too much water or something. Unless you're better at controlling the water with the regular paintbrush, but I'm not, so. But yeah, uh, you mark them on the styrofoam plate, and you, like, hold on. Then you use the water brush to pick up the pigment and get water in it, and have, like, a more water-filled, saturated, I don't know the word, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm artsy, but I'm not a professional artist that knows art history, art, and words and stuff yeah but i used it as the ink and i and i used a lot of my crayola markers which was the super nibs i think uh, super tips and then i used the regular bulky crayola markers that had like you know the one thing that was weird though was um black was um black turned into like this greenish blue color and then, like, that was really weird because I didn't, so I didn't actually have a black unless I wanted to just mark on the paper with the black marker. But I didn't want to do that. I wanted it to be all Crayola marker with the styrofoam and the water and stuff like that. Why am I moving my hand? But, like, and, um, so I ended up mixing a lot of the colors. Like, I tried mixing it to where I picked up the one pigment and tried moving it to another pigment, but I don't think that worked that well. So I ended up marking like the markers like all together like one marker on top of another marker on top of another marker then i mixed it with the water brush so and then i did it that way so i got a pretty cool like color mixing stuff like that it was i accidentally did the face before i did the um before i did the video so the face turned out like more pink and dark than I wanted it to. So the pink does not match her arms, her chest, and her feet, but I wish it did. And this is another thing I did before. This was actually an art collab I was doing with someone. And it was, um, we were doing mythology. She did, well, she's doing, she, I've done mine a long time ago. She's had exams, so she had to do hers, all that. But I did like this and... It was Gaia from Greek mythology because I just love Greek mythology. It's amazing to me. It's just really interesting and intriguing and stuff like that. But this is my, like I was supposed. To, I sent her the line art for this, but I liked it so much that I colored it myself as well. So this is what mine came out like. But this is the third, second time I colored this because the first time I used like my I don't remember what I used. I think I used markers or watercolors. And in this one, I used the Crayola markers as ink. So, I just, because I already had, like, the line art done for this. But, yeah, this is getting to the end of the video. I want to say thank you for watching. And please feel free to subscribe, like, and comment. I really appreciate when you all do that. And thank you so much. Have a great day, guys. Bye!